What's up guys, my name is Matt, and today we are going to do another Dear Bungie. If you don't know what Dear Bungie is, basically, I tag Bungie's Twitter handle in the title, talk about some stuff that I want to see in future content, and then when you guys like it, if your account is tied to Twitter on YouTube, it'll get tweeted at Bungie, and they'll see it. So if that is the case, please like this video and get Bungie's attention with this. But this time, I kind of want to talk about something that uh, Tyler brought up, and he's calling it Call to Arms. Now, Call to Arms... And his idea initially was kind of like a timed event where you'd get summoned to it an instance with a lot of people. And that was it. That was about it. That's all we really built on. But we kind of talked about it. And this is what we came up with. Call to Arms would be a end game content. Towards the end game, one thing people are complaining about a lot is bounties. Now those bounties, yeah, you have a chance to get an exotic bounty after you do so many bounties. That's cool and all. But let's add something else, something daily, something that we can strive for every single day to add to our routine to give us that other end game goal. That end game goal would be something called Call to Arms. Now, I'm sure Bungie enjoys the fact that we do bounties every day, but what if they gave us a reason, something for us to do and fight to get all our bounties done? Call to Arms is our way of doing that. With Call to Arms, basically what it would be is after you completed all your bounties in the day, all six Vanguard bounties, or maybe this can be something involved with my previous idea, something with the endgame factions, you are already ranked 10. Go watch that video if you don't know what I'm talking about, but the previous idea was about endgame factions, and if you want to include Call to Arms into the endgame factions, Bungie, that would be fucking amazing. But Call to Arms would be this. You go on, you log in every single day, whether it be right after the reset, whether it be 12 hours later, doesn't matter. You grab five of your bounties. Obviously, there's six of them. We'll get to that later. You do all five bounties, and then you turn them all in. You now have one bounty left. You go and finish that bounty. You pick up that bounty. You finish it. You turn it in, and your postmaster, the postmaster will have a call to arms. You need that. It would kind of work like the Queen's missions. Kind of. The Queen's Missions disappeared after that, that time period. But then again, you could make this a timed event. I would prefer it being a constant daily thing, but if you have to make it a timed event, I understand, Bungie. But you take your call to arms, it's in your mission inventory, and you can go to your daily menu where your daily and weekly strikes and raids and missions and whatever, and you click call to arms. Call to arms would then matchmake you. And we, we initially thought like 20, 20 people, just a ton of people get match made together, but this is a match made PvE situation. And I know Bungie doesn't like to send a bunch of people through matchmaking, especially without the voice communication, but we thought about that. What happens is when you're done getting matchmaking, it takes you to a random region in the area. Now, of course, you could always stumble upon these call to arms as you're roaming around, just like you can stumble upon people doing the raid. You can stumble upon public events, but you need to have that call to arms token or message doesn't matter in your inventory in order to get the rewards your match made and it just teleports everyone to a specific region whether it be earth in the cosmodrome or on the moon and it sends you to archer's line i don't care where it sends you but it'll take you to an instance area and there will be some boss a boss that requires 12 people to kill a boss that requires i don't know 20 people to kill and you could even have leveled versions of it i don't care how you implement this money but i think it would be a really cool idea to where you take all your b bounties, turn them all in, all six of them. You have to be level 20 to do this. Your postmaster has a message. It's called arms mission. You queue up for it. 12, 20, 24. I don't care how many. If 12 is your limit, Bungie, do 12. That's fine with me. 12 people get teleported to the same instance, and they fight a boss. Now, when we discussed it, me and Tyler, again, this is Tyler's idea, and we've kind of worked together on it. When we discussed it, we wanted it to be a challenge, as in there should be mechanics with it, but we also want it to kind of be a bullet sponge, but we also don't want the mechanics to be too difficult. One idea we had is you go to the Black Garden, you go through that portal, and in there is a, I don't know, let's go with a Hydra, kind of like the Templar in the raid, with a shield. But this time, instead of all those, those ads there, that just, that just stand there, the statues of the Vex, they actually all come alive. And in order to weaken his shield, he he pulls from them. As you go and as you kill them, his shield 
doesn't get recharged. It starts off with nothing, he instantly starts recharging it, and you have to kill them before he's able to recharge it, and then you can do damage to it, and you're chasing him through the Black Garden. Another idea we had is just go out into a very open area, for example, Amber Caves on Venus. Now this time, instead of a Fallen Walker happening, let's put something else there. I don't know, we, we thought it'd be really cool to fight a giant shank. But that shank has some sort of mechanic, and I know Bungie can come up with some mechanics because the raid had some decent mechanics. But we also don't want the mechanics to be too difficult because remember, you're working with 12 people that you don't know. We also thought about this and we're like, what kind of rewards can we get from this? What, what can Bungie give for us for fighting a somewhat bullet spongy? Again, the reason I want it to be bullet spongy is so someone can't solo this. I want 12 people to have to be there. But minor mechanics, um, some shield you have to take down in some special way. Uh, maybe only fusion rifles take down a shield. I don't I don't know just make minor mechanics something that people can catch on to really fast That isn't too difficult for 12 people to work together to do Now as I said for the rewards it would be something that again We just did all our bounties so Bungie you need to make this a little bit better than just the daily event I understand the daily gets you two ascendant materials an engram and some experience I think you should bump this up one because there's only one possible way to do this every single day because you have to do all six bounties in a day in order to get this so the rewards I think should be like three ascendant materials whether it be energy or shards it could be random maybe a guaranteed blue and maybe one more engram that rolls random blue legendary exotic but make it challenging Bungie make it incredibly hard to to beat this boss when it comes to maybe like minor mechanics don't make it to where if you wipe you're done for make it possible but make it challenging and call it call to arms but if you guys have any ideas you guys want us to discuss something if you got a good idea we want this to be part of a, the community that we're building we don't just want this to be my ideas we don't want this to be Tyler's ideas we want this to be your guys ideas so if you want me to talk about an idea that you guys have leave it in the comments send me a private message tweet it at me all those links are in the description but I hope you like this dear Bungie if you're new here click that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment also go down to that description and click the link to stream click the follow button come watch us Tuesday through Saturday 11:30 p.m to around 3 or 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like if you're tied to Twitter with your YouTube account so Bungie does see this idea if you agree it's a good idea. But until next time, guys, see ya.